Hello again, everyone. It's uh, Jen Schantz. I'm still here outside the TCF Center where I've been all morning. Um, and as you, um, this has been going on for, I would say about an hour and a half. It's grown a little bit um, since about 9.30. This is what we're seeing. It's a large group, mostly Trump supporters. However, there are a couple counter protesters here. The Trump supporters, um, as Trump supporters uh, were protesting last night that uh, the ballot counting stop in Michigan, several of the Trump supporters I've heard claiming uh, inaccurately that President Trump has won the election. He has not. Uh, no president has been declared. No new president has been declared so far um, in the United States. Joe Biden won Michigan yesterday. So um, this is what's happening. I just wanted to show you the scene here outside the TCF Center. The Trump Unity Bridge, which has been a staple at a lot of the president's rallies, um, is also here. You can see it right there. It's pulling up there. And uh, the person driving that Trump Unity Bridge has said over the loudspeaker um, he is blasting some misinformation about the electoral process in Michigan, making claims that Michiganders who voted for Trump had their ballots turned into ballots for Biden. There is no evidence of that. I just wanted to point that out in case the Trump Unity Bridge drives by here and continues uh, to blast that misinformation over the loudspeaker. So far, things are, are mostly peaceful. There's been quite a bit of yelling back and forth. Um, we do have Detroit police on scene here, but there's been no issues, um, no physical violence that we've seen, just a lot of yelling right now. And just in case you, you weren't watching um, all day yesterday, just to kind of set the stage for you, there has been um, a lot of back and forth and a lot of protesting outside the TCF Center. This is where Detroit's absentee ballots were counted. And there was uh, a lot of protesting last night because there was concern from challengers, mostly Republican challengers, that they claiming that they did not have the proper access uh, to monitor the vote counting process. That sparked a call for Trump supporters to come as backup, and they did. There were hundreds of Trump supporters outside the TCF Center yesterday um, claiming that they were not allowed into the TCF Center to challenge votes. Uh, the City of Detroit Health Department saying that's not the case, and it was actually an issue with capacity. There are rules as to how many challengers, Republican, Democrat, and nonpartisan, are allowed inside a room, um, inside the ballot counting room, rather, at one time. So. To set the stage, that's where some of the drama started here yesterday, and this is where we are right now.